Hi, today I would like to review Bearskin Hoodie 3.0 that is upgraded version and this has a lot of new changes compared to the previous Hoodie 2.0 which was the last year's model. Let's talk about it. You are watching my channel Review Matograph and I will tell you that this Bearskin Hoodie 3.0 became better on certain things. It still has all the features from the previous model which everyone was happy with and there is also some change that was not really clear to me why did uh, Bearskin uh, come up with that and also I will tell you what I would like Bearskin to implement in the next hoodie so let's start first of all once I opened the package I noticed that the cuffs they received a different design velcros and that is a huge plus. Now that is a separate kind of uh, rubberized uh, uh, material, plastic whatsoever, with hooks. This is actually a nice and safe hooks. They will not scratch the soft fleece on your hoodie itself and also they will not scratch the other garment which is on you. And uh, of course, by your skin uh, added way more zipped pockets on the inside same like they did with the Bearskin West which was presented several months ago I have a review on Bearskin West in the window above you get zipped pockets on the inside below on the both sides also you have a zipped pockets just at your chest level and the rest pockets are very familiar, however the hand pocket received a liner inside. So there is no longer a fleece inside, but just a nice uh, synthetic liner. What was not expected, that the hood itself was a little bit changed size-wise. It used to be a really, really spacious hood on Bearskin Hoodie 2.0. It was like oversized hood and I liked it so much because that was really really special feature of Bayer skin that was uh, the, the biggest hood and the more spacious hood I ever used hood now has a tighter fit maybe some people like that I am okay with that I personally love very much the previous spacious hoodie but anyway that is still okay on my taste that is just at the edge of being too small but maybe you will like it. I ordered medium on poor post because I wanted a little bit tighter fit and I wanted to wear this hoodie not like a separate jacket but uh, like a middle layer under the rain jacket, let's say like that. And I thought maybe because the medium size is of course smaller than this hoodie 2.0 in a large size, maybe because of that the hood size is different, but not. That is just the change in design. All in all, that is a great hoodie. That is how it fits on me. I'm 1 meter 77 centimeters tall and uh, I have around 72 kilos weight. That is how it fits. And uh, let's uh, show you how does the black version look like. That's the black version. First thing you will notice that Bearskin finally got a hanger loop. That is a very very good upgrade you have a signature bear skin strip around your neck which is also very cool you have velcro on your shoulders so you can stick any logo of your company of your security guard company whatsoever that is exactly how the black version looks like I personally like black very much that is my favorite color. By the way, Bayer Skin came up with a new color, that is yellow. One thing which I also noticed, that the zipper has changed the uh, layout. So the moving part of the zipper used to be on the left side. Now it is on the right side. I don't know if it's good, if it's bad, uh, if it's up to somebody's uh, preference. Look, that is Bayer Skin Hoodie 2.0. On the right side you have nothing. And the moving part of the zipper is on the left side. The other thing I mentioned and I will tell now, that's about something that I can suggest to Bayer Skin. And this may be 
based on the way I personally wear these hoodies. Bear skin proved to be very warm hoodie. It has a great thickness of 300 grams per square meter. It has a great uh, wind insulation properties and it's actually very warm. The way I wear it right now in autumn, when the temperature is somewhere between uh, plus 4 degrees in the morning and then around 12-14 degrees in the afternoon and then going back to around 6-4 uh, degrees Celsius in the evening. So I always wear a very thin t-shirt, either uh, from cotton or a synthetic t-shirt. Then I have my bear skin hoodie as a middle layer. And because it's very rainy in Norway, I always have a very thin rain jacket. And every time I go to a supermarket or a shopping center, of course, I tend to take off my rain jacket to keep myself more comfortable inside. And then I'm only walking in a, in a bear skin. But because it's so warm, sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable inside. Maybe in the next versions of bear skin, they can implement zippers under the armpits for the ventilation. I know that bear skin is, first of all, a jacket. Uh, and I believe they have a vision of keeping this as a jacket, as the last layer which you will uh, wear in a dry weather. However, some people like me like to use that as a middle layer and then having a zipped armpits for a better ventilation inside will be a very, very huge plus. The other thing that uh, I was talking since the very first review of Bearskin that I personally miss YKK zippers. I have no any problems with zippers on Bayer skin, which they manufactured on Bayer skin hoodie 2.0. This hoodie I'm wearing already for one year exactly. I don't have any issues, so the signature strip has not faded away. The zippers has not been showing up any defects or whatsoever, they run smooth. The only thing that was missing on Hoodie 2.0, that is the hanger. Now there is a hanger in Hoodie 3.0. That was also missing few more pockets on the zippers. Now there are way more pockets on the zippers, basically everywhere. At the same time, the very handy pocket on the back is still over there. And I was talking also at the very first video, Maybe a magnetic zipper from YKK could be just a killer feature of next version of Bearskin hoodie. And also, on my personal preference, I would like to have a really, really spacious hood. Maybe when Bearskin grows as a company, they can uh, provide a wider selection of hoodies with same design, like in the current version 3.0, with a very fitted hood and then version B with a larger, more spacious hood. That will be awesome. So then whoever wants to purchase this or that can have a choice. One last thing in this review, that around uh, four or five months ago, Bayer Skin made a hoodie for ladies. I have one in my bag. So that's the hoodie which Bayer Skin has designed for ladies. I have a white color and this hoodie specifically repeats design of Bearskin hoodie 2.0, meaning that you have an older design velcro on your calves and you are not getting a hanger. And also, fortunately, you have a very, very spacious hood, which I like so much. And also, you are not getting some of the pockets on the inside, I mean the zipped pockets on the inside. But at least you have a special design shaped for the ladies. And if you are looking for a great hoodie right now, then you can go to the Bearskin website using the link in the description to this video and purchase a ladies version of a famous Bearskin hoodie. That was basically all from me. I can definitely, definitely recommend Bearskin hoodies, especially considering that right now with a version 3.0 you are getting so much more value for the same money. That was all from me. Thank you for your time 
and I will see you in your next video. Bye.